I added a Quill DRO to my Precision Matthews knee mill. I had one on my jet mill and it really came in handy. This one is from Eye Gaging and I've had pretty good luck with their products. And this one is specifically made for a knee mill. It was less than a hundred dollars and it's real easy to install. I ordered this one from Global Equipment Company. The instructions weren't too bad. There are some things that you have to figure out on your own because it's not made for any specific brand knee mill. It came with almost all the mounting screws. I think there were a couple of screws that I had to find on my own. This is the spacer block that mounts over the scale on the quill housing. And this is the mount for the DRO scale. The first thing you have to do is remove the screws for the scale. And the instructions recommend that you leave the scale on the machine and put the spacer block over the scale. Next you have to mount the cylinder onto the backing plate for the DRO. The instructions call it a quill bar, but it's more like a cylinder. You can see that it's slotted, and it has a long set screw at an angle, so when you tighten a set screw, it spreads the, uh, the barrel open. You can see how it fits in the hole on the quill slider head. And then when you tighten the set screw, it locks it in. Here I'm just test fitting it. You really don't want to lock it in until you get everything in place. You can see the spacer block is slotted, so you have an up and down adjustment. Once I got the spacer block mounted onto the machine, I just kind of held everything up just to see how everything lines up because they give you a couple of different options on holes to mount the backing plate to the DRO. For my application I'm going to use the same two holes they show on the instructions. For the DRO mounting bracket, they show that the DRO scale should mount on the outside of the bracket. When I test fit everything, I found that it was better for me to mount the scale on the inside of the bracket. This bracket's also slotted so that you have side-to-side -side adjustments that you can make if you need to. So my goal was to get the cylinder to go in as far as I could into the slider head on the quill. 
I had to use a small washer between the DRO mounting bracket and the spacer block to get a perfect fit. So now it's time to tighten the set screw into the wedge on the cylinder to get a tight fit. I like the fact that you can still use the quill stop and you can adjust the stop to be more accurate. So now it's time to test it for accuracy. The increments on my dial indicator are in half thousands. It was a little bit tricky using the quill handle. I probably should have engaged the quill cranking handle, but for demonstration I'm just going to go with this. Next I moved it to 45 thousandths. Next we'll see if it returns to zero. I'm pretty happy with this setup. It'll come in handy for drilling to an accurate depth and counter boring for screw head clearance. It was an easy install, and thanks for watching.